Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Liakat Zaman, and we are going through surf. So, so far, we've kind of made ourselves this surf tree, and we've also gone through patterns of verbs, the 14 patterns of present verbs, and we've also uh, managed to come out with this as well. Right, so, this is for the pattern number one in the list, first pattern. It's got three possibilities either a dhamma. On the Ain Kalima, a Fatha on the Ain Kalima, or a Kasr on the Ain Kalima, right? Um, and then we've got like, you know, so this is the Ain Kalima. So in this example, there's a Dhamma all the way going down all the way through. But you can come out with different possibilities. And I told you, what you can do is write yourself like lists of verbs. And that way you can practice more and more. Um, and we're going to be doing examples in the Quran as well. But we're just going to do the last two, inshallah, today. And then hopefully we are have covered everything, inshallah. Right, so there you have it. Let's crack on then. Okay, so let me know in the comments as well what you, how you guys have been uh, benefiting from this. Because uh, I've been getting some comments from people as well, mashallah. People have been uh, benefiting and some people have been saying, can you make it like this and like that. So let me know, inshallah. Okay, so the next one now. So if I was to put numbers next. I mean, I'm not going to put numbers next to these now because... I want you guys to use the um, the dictionary in the uh, on the on the website or hands way and and that has num its own numbers. So I'm gonna give you next time. I'm gonna give you this kind of a a table and it's gonna or a clock and it's gonna show you the numbers, right? Um, and we can actually make one as well. I think it might be better to make one. So we're gonna do two today, the last two, um, and those are the first one is. Um, so hopefully I've got some space. I think I'll do it here. So okay, there you go. So this one is like this basically. So you have a ya over here, a ya. Then you got a ta over here, right? And then you put in your the original letters so Ain, Lam and Meme okay Ain, Lam and Meme and then you put the vowels on so it's Ya Ta Le Mu Ya Ta Le Mu right so Ya Ta Le Mu Ya Ta Le Mu okay so this is another pattern this is right so um, I mean I should have uh, I should have actually drawn this a bit better I hope you guys can understand this one Right, so this one, see these branches there is a bit awkward. Let's just make another branch. I think. That can go there, and this one can go for this one. That'd be better. Okay, so you got ya talimu. So notice ya talimu has like you've got these letters over here, and what you can do is you can actually make yourself a list. So let's say, for instance, let's take a verb of this sort. Um, by the way, this verb actually comes for, um, it comes for something which is um, intrinsic, right? So, intrinsic, right? Something which restricts itself to itself is intrinsic. Um, so, for example, like you have verbs like, يَعْتَقِلُ uh, yeah, to be restricted, to be like tied up. Ya'taqilu. So you got ya'taqilu, right? Uh, that pattern. And you can you can you know, you use various patterns. Or you can actually make a, yourself a whole list. Ya'taqilu. So if you were to use this, for instance, you would say ya'taqilu, ya'taqilani, ya'taqiluna, ta'taqilu, ta'taqilani, ya'taqilna, Ta'taqilu, ta'taqilani, ta'taqiluna, ta'taqilina, ta'taqilani, ta'taqilna, a'taqilu, na'taqilu. Right, so that's that's your ya'taqil pan or ya'talim pan, something that has an intrinsic meaning. So, so let me show you guys in the Quran then, inshallah. Let's see if we can find some verbs here. Now remember, like I told you before, Trying to find verbs can be a bit of a, a task. Um, 
But if we go through this, I mean, I'm sure we can find lots of other verbs as well. Uh, so you see over here, um, actually this is a past verb, so we're not going to use that. We've got a whole list of verbs here. I mean, you guys can have a go at. So for example, like you've got, um, you've got, ta'maluna. Um, so ta'maluna is obviously of the first pattern, right? Ta'maluna, amila ya'malu, ta'maluna. Right, and it's got the una there, it's the third in the list. Yeah, it's the third in this list. Um, okay, let's go to Surah, we'll have Surah, Toba, I think. Okay, ya tadiruna. Ya tadiruna. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Ya tadiruna. So notice ya tadiruna. This is basically the three the the, the so if, if we were to make this well, let's actually use these letters. Alright, so let's try to let's try to make this then using our letters. So uh we need some of these letters. Alright, so you got ta. Right, ta, but we're not going to be using the ta like that. We're going to be using one of these ones. Ta, you got zal. Ta, zero. And then now we need the ain. We need the ain. So you guys can try this at home as well. Ya, ta, ya, ta. Ya, ta, zi. And then you've got a uh, ra, we need ra. Ya. You got ya, but we want the other ya. Right, we want this extra ya. The red ones represent extra. Ya ta zi. And then a ra. Is there a ra anywhere? A ra is here. Ya ta zi. So notice these are the huruf asli. We call the original letters. Right. And then if we add to the end of it, una, you've got ya ta zi runa. Notice. Ya ta zi runa. Ya ta zi runa. So these are the original letters and these are extra added on. So ya ta diruna would mean they are presenting excuses. They are making excuses. Ya ta diruna. They are making excuses. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a good one. Ya Yattakhidu Over here. Ya ta So ya ta is the same. It's just called shadda. They don't worry about the shadda. Shadda simply represents two letters. So imagine there's two ta's there now. So ya ta ta kha and zal. So okay, so let's now look for we've got Zal. Right, so we need a Kha. Okay, do we have Kha? Kha, where is Kha? Say Kha disappeared. Okay, Kha is over here. Okay, so Okay, so yet then we've got two we got two ta's, so we need an original ta, uh, and we need another ta. So look for original ta. Is there any ta's here? Okay, ta might be one that's missing. I'm sure there must be some missing letters here. It's been a long time since I cut these. I might need to cut some more. Actually, serious. See, none of you guys told me it was here all the time. Okay, so yet ta khidu. Right, so ta khada seems to be the original letters. Ya ta, ya ta khidu. Now, if you wanted to make it, they are taking. So ya ta khidu means to take something on. Ya ta khiduna. If I say females, add the noon. Ya ta khidna. Right, if you want to say we are, then you just add a noon at the beginning. Nat ta khid. Right, it's the same list as we have over here. The same list. Now, all we have to do is add the correct combination. And there we have it. We have the right ones okay so i think that is uh, enough there let's get on with this then all right so back to back to this so we have now we have this uh table so let's do the last one now uh so okay so the last one is let's do it here uh Okay, there. So first of all, you've got the ya at the beginning, remember? Always have the ya. 
and then let's add in the extra layer so the extra layer is known and then the Ain Lam Mi Yen Alimu now this word doesn't really exist in the Arabic language they don't really use this Yen Alimu but I'm just showing you like I said last time we're just gonna look at all possibilities of what we can make right from this so Yen Alimu again this has a meaning of something being intrinsic intrinsic like restricted to that thing yen alimu something that occurs to it on its own so yen i notice that you got the noon there and there you got the ta and it's, it's shifted there and there it's right next to the ya yen alimu again if you were to have it in this whole list you would say yen alimu yen alimani yen alimuna tan alimu tan alimani tan alimna yen alimu yen alimna tan alimu tan alim and you go down the whole list and you can make yourself a 14 list. Remember, each one of these you can make this 14 list. You just have to add the right ones. So let's take, let's say for example, let's Ain Lam. Ain Lam. And let's look for a meme. Do we have a meme? That now let's add a ya and a noon. Right, yan alimu. Yan alimu. Yan alimu. Now, if you want to say they, so you say yan alimuna. So you have it, yan alimuna. But the root three letters is this are these three ilam, knowledge. Notice ilam is carried throughout all of this. The shared common letters are ilam, and these are just extra letters, and basically that's how it's done. All right, so. Again, you can make yourself a list, I would say, that's, that might be an excellent idea. If you make yourself a list and you go through these, you can just write loads of them, or you can even memorize it if you can. Like I showed you last time, you got yasbahu, yusabbihu, yusbihu, yatasabbahu, yastasbihu, yusabihu. Now you can add, for example, you know, number eight, number nine. Actually, how, how many have we done? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so you can add... So I seem to be missing one. Yusabihu, yusbihu, yatasabihu, yastasbihu, yusabihu, yatasabihu. Yastasbihu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I think I'm missing. Yusabihu, yatasabihu. Yatasabahu, Yusbihu, 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 Ah, yeah, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's actually nine. Nine we have in the list. So now we can add these two now. Right, so you can say something like, um, uh, Yes, Tabihu. Yes, Tabihu. Yes, Tabihu. And number nine, you can say, Yan Sabihu. Yan Sabihu. Yan Sabihu. So you really have nine that you're going to be dealing with a lot. Right? Now there's more than nine, but nine are the main ones that you really need to be focusing on. Um, so you can do this with everything. Try it with Yanzilu. So you got Yanzilu, Yunazilu, Yunzilu, Yunzilu. You got Yatanazalu, Yatanazalu, Tanazalu, etc. Am I going down? And Yatakilu, you can do all those. So there's various types, and that's the main thing that you guys need is lots and lots and lots of practice, I would say. The amount of practice that you guys will need is lots, trust me. Just to kind of get it in your in your head how it's gonna work. So um Okay, let's try to look for uh, this verb being used in the Quran. Uh, okay, so Surah, let's go to Surah. Okay, so.
Okay, so uh, actually there's a past one that is in Fatarat. We'll look for the present. Uh. Okay, so over here, you, you go on over here. So yan qalib, yan qalib, right? And ignore the the sukun at the end, but you have a yan qalib. Notice is yan qalib. So yan qalib. If we were to make that in our, so you got ya at the beginning, right? Then you got your noon, it's extra, and then you got qalb, qalaba. So now I'm gonna have to look for qalaba, qalaba. Where are you? Okay, qaf, lam. And ba uh, okay. There you have it. Yan kalibu, yan kalibu. Okay, so yan kalibu. That's what you have there. So yan kalibu, kalb is the root letters, and then yan kalibu. So yan kalib means to twist, to turn, to flip. Yan kalibu. Uh, Okay, so so anyway, so that's basically how it's done. So I would say go through the Quran, and that's what we can do actually. Um, we can actually go through the Quran, any choose any any section anywhere. Let's say for example, we start from here. So we can skim through the Quran. Yujadilu, for example, yujadilu. So yujadilu. Now notice you have jim, you jim, and then dal. These are the rulers. Jim dal. And lam, lam, and dal. So these are root letters. These are, and then you have extra letters in between. So you got like this alif there, right? Let's just treat that as an alif. And then you got like ya at the beginning, yu, yu jadilu. Now you see this yu jadilu fits on with over here, fits on with yu alimu, emphasis yu jadilu. Yujadilu. Okay, so you got Yujadilu there. Um, okay, let's see if there's any other present verb. Yahzun. So Yahzun is actually just a single past. This one over here. Yahzunu. Again, for that we would just be looking for Ha. Ha. And then Za. And then Noon. These are the original letters, the root letters. As a noon, yahzun. Okay, you got yahzun there. Those are the root letters that you have there. All right. So that's basically what you guys need to be focusing on. And inshallah, next time I'll make the clock for you guys and I'll show you how to use all of these in the dictionary. All right. That's the main thing that we need to do. And I want you guys to write down as much as you can. Take a verb and put it through all of these different patterns and try to make yourself lists like I've just shown you. So Jazakallah Khair and I will see you guys next time. Uh, thank you very much to all of you guys for watching these videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much to all my patrons. Jazakum Allah Khair. Alhamdulillah. You know, with all of your support, with all of your uh, efforts and, and your encouragement and motivation, Alhamdulillah, this channel has reached where it has today. Um, and there's so much left that I want to do and there's editing and there's, you know, trying to start new projects as well and get other people involved so that I can focus on producing content. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to become patrons and you want to support this channel, then check out the link in the description. Inshallah, there's also videos available for those who are patrons um, in the in the patron itself that I don't put on my normal YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check that out, inshallah, links in the description, like I said. And Jazakumullah Khair, share it with other people. Let me know what you guys think as well. And Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.